or the surprising split of one of the most prominent po uh, couples in politics just two weeks after celebrating their 40th wedding anniversary. Former Vice President Al Gore and his wife Tipper announced in an email to their friends that they are separating. Claire Shipman in Washington will look back at their four decade romance. Al and Tipper, Tipper and Al. Their very togetherness always part of the appeal. Did I mention I have loved him for more than 30 years? Someone I've loved with my whole heart. For four decades, after all, they've beaten the odds and pulled off the rarest of political feats, a genuinely good and appealing marriage. Did you really never date anyone else, the two of you, for all those years? No, we, we dated some other people. You did? <laughs> Well, <laughs> but there was never any doubt in my mind as to who I was going to marry. And then that memorable convention kiss <laughs> continued on SNL. Tipper. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that. Isn't that nice? Tipper let us ignore the awkward and see the regular guy. Tipper, whenever she was in the room, Al uh, softened, and he knew that. When we interviewed her a few years ago, she seemed to be relishing the next phase of their lives. I told somebody the other day, I said, you know, I, I went to bed with a recovering politician, and I woke up with a movie star, <laughs> and it's great. <laughs> but friends say their paths and expectations diverged. She went and did her thing. She was supportive, but she didn't share the world stage with him. Of course, storybook endings aren't easy to come by. But this twist makes them all seem that much more out of reach. For Good Morning America, Claire Shipman, ABC News, Washington. Joining us now with more is ABC's Cokie Roberts. She's in South Carolina this morning. And family therapist Terry Reel, who is in Boston. Good to see you both this morning. And Cokie, let me start with you. Of course, you know Washington so well. This was such a shock to uh, just countless people. I'm, I would imagine it caught you off guard too, Cokie. Totally. Totally, and it's very sad. Look, a 40-year marriage is, is an entity, uh, and I'm sure it's very hard on both of them, and they're both very nice people. Uh, so this is a moment where a lot of people, a, a good friend of theirs said to me, I feel like my, the marital universe has been shifted off its axis. But you know, political marriages are tough, and um, even though it's, it would seem like they've gone through the really mm -hmm. tough times, um, you know, when you're, when you're all engaged in the same endeavor, you've got a common goal. And then uh, when that's gone and the kids are raised, um, right. the goals are kind of gone. Yes, their four children are all grown. The youngest is 27. And, and, and Terry, we've heard them talk about, and other couples have talked about, growing apart. They were high school yeah. sweethearts, uh, obviously so very close all these years. And, and it's, it's, it's possible just to have different interests at a, at a certain point. Well, I think it is. I think the moral of this story, uh, Robin, is that nobody knows the inside of a marriage. And uh, they right. look great from the outside. Uh, but uh, obviously, uh, Al Gore has been busy running for the presidency, saving the planet, literally. Uh, that's a lot on its plate. And people do grow apart. That's true, particularly now that the kids are gone. Terry, Cokie alluded to something just a moment ago about they've been through such rough times. You know what happened in 2000. We know their son was in a, a near fatal car accident back in 1989 yeah. when he was so incredibly young. So you, you think that they'd weathered so much that this would be the time uh, that they would really come together and enjoy each other. But you said this is not uncommon. No, it's not. It's kind of a paradox. Um, if you're an alcoholic marriage, the time at your most at risk for divorce is the first year of sobriety. Uh, you know, people commit suicide when they start to feel better. Revolutions happen when conditions improve. So there's this uh, kind of open secret in family therapy that when things settle down, uh, there are actually times where the risk can, uh, can increase rather than decrease. And Kohi, you were talking about political marriages. Just, just discuss the, the extra strain. It's not easy, period, um, in many marriages. It's but, not. Look, but but they're, in they're, the political they're, sense, they're, it's really difficult. It is. There are all kinds of hazards here. Uh, staff, uh, a candidate's staff or a, an office holder's staff tends to hate the wife. Uh, 
uh, you know, she has access to him that they, they don't have, mm -hmm. and, and they always downgrade the wife. But it's also true, you know, the great man comes home, and, uh, and as Terry just said, in this case, from saving the planet, and his wife knows he puts on his legs one leg, you know, his pants one leg at a time, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> and, right. and she's there reminding him of the mortgage payments and, and of the fact that he's just a regular person, not a god. And, um, you know, who needs that? It's much more fun to be a god than a regular person. That's true. And you followed them a lot uh, on the <laughs> campaign trail. And it, it was quite obvious. I know Terry said, and, and we all say, you never know really what's happening in a marriage. But, Koki, it really seemed to be genuine between the two of them. Oh, I think totally yeah. genu genuine. Absolutely. I don't think there's any question about that. I, there was nothing fake going mm -hmm. on there. And as I say, these are nice people. Uh, and so I just, th I think that, uh, you know, that there is, the, that is just a sad moment, uh, you know, and, and look, you know, is there another shoe to drop? Who knows? But uh, uh, this is, this is just something that has happened. It's not that it was there all along, right. that they were just hiding something. Yeah, that's the feeling that a lot of people have. And, and, and Terry, lastly with you, uh, it is a separation. They haven't said that they're divorcing, but to go public with the separation like this, um, what do you make of it in the timing and all? Well, it's, it's, it's very, very serious. Uh, they would not put themselves and their four kids uh, through this kind of public scrutiny uh, if they weren't pretty serious about it. I think that uh, you know, the moral of the story is that even nice people sometimes do grow apart. I think that there have probably been fault lines in the marriage that have not shown in public. Uh, nobody leaves a 40-year marriage easily or cavalierly. Uh, these are serious matters, and there have been some serious issues in the marriage, probably for a while. Terry and Koki, thank you very much. Appreciate your insight you with you, and your grace. Always good to see you, Koki. You too, Terry.